Hi, Leslie Pyle here with HireMomMom.com. And I wanna bring you some tips today to help you stand out when you're applying for jobs on the internet. I know it can be a little bit discouraging and it can be disappointing if you don't get hired right away, but we have some tips to help you stand out so that making you, helping you get hired will be a lot easier. So the first thing I wanna talk about is your cover letter and resume. On your resume, it is okay to show a little bit of personality, show a little bit of your creative side, these are typically not HR managers, at least not on Hire My Mom. They're usually small business owners, which means they're not necessarily looking for a standard black and white resume. I've seen a lot of resumes that have personality and um, color, and Canva is a great place to go to find templates. If you haven't used it before, just go to canva.com and search for their resume templates. Also, maybe... It, uh, consider including a photograph of yourself. Sometimes people just like to have a face with a name. Be sure that your resume sells you to potential employers. Don't just list out your experience. Also, maybe put a section of your skills or even include a short testimonial. Next, have somebody proofread it. You don't want to have any errors on your resume because that definitely gives the wrong impression if you're not fully um, professional in your resume. Next, your cover letter. A well-written cover letter and resume are worth gold in your job search. Now your cover letter needs to be customized for each job that you're applying for. So what I recommend you doing is uh, go to their website and, and learn a little bit about the company or the small business owner and incorporate something that shows that you did a little bit of homework in your cover letter. And also explain why you're the best fit for the job. Take something that they're looking for in their job description and explain your experience, your skills, or your passion for that area. The next thing I wanna talk about is initiative. It's very important that you take initiative and show the employer that you're not only qualified, but you're sincerely interested in their job. Educate yourself on their business, like I spoke about, visiting their website, reading their about us, Find them on social media channels, follow them, learn a little bit more about them that way. It's a great way to start building a relationship with them. We don't want to stalk them, but you know, commenting on a post here and there on LinkedIn will help you stand out. They'll begin to recognize your name. Um, the bottom line is you'll start to stand out if you put in the extra work and show that you're definitely um, sincerely interested in their job. The next thing I wanna talk about is be detail oriented. Read the job description two or three times and make sure your application, your resume, and your cover letter address everything that they're seeking or requesting. Some employers will intentionally ask you to include certain things in your cover letter to make sure you read the entire job description. If you leave key things out in your job application, it tells the employer that you may do the same thing in your work. And in that case, your resume may go straight to the virtual trash can. The next thing I recommend is don't waste your time and don't waste theirs. If you don't have any of the experience or skills that the employer is asking for, don't apply. If you need additional training, get it. There are several places online, including Hire My Mom, that offers training and resources to help you get the experience and the skills that you need. Um, and you also, you. Give the employer the impression that you didn't read the job description very carefully if you apply and you don't have any of the experience and skills. And a lot of times that will irritate them and you don't wanna do that. Instead, look for jobs that are a good match for your experience, your skills, and your passions. Next, I recommend respond quickly. Many of these small business owners are very uh, busy and they're looking to hire quickly. They may post a job and be ready to hire someone that same week. So check for new jobs, often and always follow up when you uh, apply for a job. I recommend waiting three or four days, sending a follow-up email to express your interest and then another one in maybe a week, just to make sure that they know you're sincerely and truly interested in their job. I hope these tips help you and we wish you much success with your job search. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great tips and insight on working from home.